So it is with heavy hearts we lay to rest your daughter Elizabeth. But let us rejoice in the knowledge that you have welcomed her into your kingdom of everlasting life. She is in the company of Jesus Christ, who died and now lives. May she rejoice in your kingdom, where all tears are wiped away, united together with her Father in heaven. Now and forever, amen. You okay? Turn it off. Adam, I think... Turn it off, I said! Hasn't changed a bit. Not since mom died, Matt. Home sweet home. Well, power's on at least. Let's see about the water. Yeah, it's been more than a few years. Price must be full of all sorts of gunk. Can't wait to see the toilets.
What? I didn't say anything. This is Gino's? Yep. Oh, it's terrible. Yep. What are we doing? What do you mean? Why are we here? I thought coming home might help you. Help me? Make a fresh start of things, away from all that happened last year. Right. And this place is just full of wonderful memories. Things are going to get better. Better? Is that what we're doing here? We're just going to go back and live in the past and pretend like everything that happened never actually happened? That's not what I said. My daughter's dead. My husband's dead. Now I'm back living at home, which is something I swore I would never do. I know it's not going to be easy. What you've been through. Yeah. It's just strange. Strange how? This sudden interest you're showing in my life. Sarah, you're my sister. I love you. Come on, for 10 years, I was the name on your Christmas card list. What, did you meet your niece once when she was a baby? Even after she got sick, you couldn't be bothered to, to call and try to be her uncle, get to know her before she... I know. You're right. Growing up, you were always there for me. You always had my back with mom and when everything went to shit, I should have been there for you. But I'm here now. Yeah. You are. Ooh. Fuck! I broke my tooth on this rubbery goddamn pizza. You okay? I'm going to bed. Give us a signal. Yeah? Can I come in? Of course. Hey, how's the tooth? It hurts. You want some ibuprofen? No. Look, I know you've been trying, and I really do appreciate it. I love you, sis. I'm sorry I didn't know you show it, but. I do. I'm sorry, too. You have nothing to be sorry for. Look at what I found. Oh, my God. Look at my hair. Yeah, it was definitely the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> you look like kid in the play. <laughs> oh, I missed you. I missed you, too. I'm gonna go to bed. Okay. Good night. Night.
Richard. Good morning. What are you doing? I'm gonna bust a pipe. Came down to make my coffee this morning and found myself swimming in the Blue Lagoon. This place should be condemned. It's a water leak, not the end of the world. Sorry. I gotta go out, pick up a few things. Are you gonna be okay on your own for a while? Yeah, I'm not a child, Richard. I didn't mean it like that. It's okay. I wanna make sure, you know. Yeah. Can I get you anything? You wanna? Coffee. Okay. I'll make you some breakfast when I get back. Okay. Richie? Excuse me? Richie Doyle. It's me, Jan Thompson. You went to school with my boys. I was a friend of your mother's. Oh, Mrs. Thompson. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, it is so good to see you. Yeah, same to you. What brings you back to Globe? Uh, I guess we just missed the place. <laughs> and then I thought Sarah could use a little country living again. Oh, Sarah's back too. Oh, that's wonderful. I'll have to stop in on her. Molly Hamming, she's a little, um... Strange. You said it, not me. Anyway, I don't want to keep you, but it is so nice to see you again. You too. <laughs> Take care. One half, thirteen, two, one quarter, twenty-eight. Always the hard part. What's that? Finding the right fit. Every part has its perfect counter, but finding that match is what takes time. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Any copies of these two keys? All right, back in a sec. I'm sorry, can I help you with something? Maybe. Or maybe I can help you, Richard. Can we met? You lost your niece last year, Mr. Doyle. That's right. She was sick, but to go so fast like that, what was it again? Got herself drowned in the bathtub? I don't know who the hell you are, but stay away from me. Come on, Mr. Doyle, you know something's not right with her story. Adam knew it. He felt it in his bones. I'm not gonna tell you again. Okay, with the bolts and the keys, that's gonna be 1255. Jan Thompson from next door. This is my friend Amy. Is this a bad time for you, Sarah? Mrs. Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. You're so beautiful. I always knew you'd grow up to be a heartbreaker. You are so sweet. Please come on in. Apple pie for you. Oh, thank you. You shouldn't have. Oh, it's a store-bought kind, but still, I just love them. Uh, this is my friend, Amy. Hi, Amy. Hi, nice to meet you. Would you ladies like to have a seat? Oh, thank you. I'm so sorry about all the boxes. I haven't really gotten a handle on the unpacking yet. Ah, uh, not at all. I haven't had a chance to go shopping yet, but um, I was just making some herbal tea. Tea would be lovely, except no sugar or cream for me. Doctor says I gotta watch the sweets and the dairy. Yeah, plain's fine for me, too. I'll be right back. Thanks. 
Who's this lovely young lady? I'm sorry, what? Look at her, Amy. Isn't she adorable? Oh, yeah, she is. Is she yours? Well, I can tell you for schools, you're going to want to avoid uh, Roosevelt, but Chapman has a great little program. I'm on the school board there, so I can... Lizzie actually passed away last year. Oh. I'm so sorry. That's fine. Thank you. Ah! Oh, God! <laughs> Get it off me! My car! Get it off! Get it off! What? Get it off! What Get off of me! Ow! Are you, are you hurt? God. What happened? It was the weirdest thing. I, all of a sudden, I felt like my chest was on fire. Oh, my God. Here, please. No, no, it's, it's fine. Okay. It's fine. I'm fine. No, it's, it's okay. fine. I'm fine. Thank you. I'm leaving. It's, it's fine. No. Thank I'm you. so sorry. Feel better? No, I don't feel better. Okay, just calm down. I don't like it here. There's something wrong with this place. So what has happened exactly? A broken doorknob, a popped light bulb. It seems to me like we're just par for the course when living in a broken down old house. You're tired, you're stressed out. So I'm imagining things? Okay, I didn't say that. It's just, you've been through hell. And with the stress of the move, I just want you to look at this objectively for a second, okay? Shitty old house with bad plumbing and rusty knobs, or our mother's house is suddenly haunted after 30 years. No, no you weren't there. You, you didn't see the... Last night, when I was taking a bath, I... Maybe I am imagining things. Let's go somewhere. Go somewhere? Yeah. Anywhere. I don't know, some place that isn't this fucking house. Yeah. Just, um... Let me go freshen up really quick.
Hey, folks, what can I get for you? Top soda. A Coors Light draft, please. Be right back. God, this place brings back a lot of memories. Not for me. I don't like it or blackouts. Are you sure that you're okay being here? It's not a problem. As long as they serve soda. How long has it been now? Two years next month. Congratulations. It's, it's great. One day at a time. That's what you tell me. Go. It'll be 4.50, unless you guys want to open a tab. Hey, Richard. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, just uh, starts the tab. Okay. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's awesome. Sarah, what are you doing? On the outside, there's a one. Take a seat. My little girl. What? She wants me to play with her. She came back because she needs me. It was a dream. Forget to take your medication tonight. I don't know, maybe mixing it with beer was a bad idea. What? No, I saw her. You saw her? I know that she's here. Sarah. No. Richard, it was Elizabeth. Okay. Let's get to bed, huh? Sorry at the bar tonight. Sorry I had to leave so suddenly. How'd you get this number? Sister started to backslide. You had a chance to stay out of it, but now it's too late. What? Are you fucking threatening us? She belongs to us, Richard. Are you listening to me? If I see you within a mile of my sister, I will... Hello? Hello? Fucker!
Whoa, jeez, you scared me. I need to speak with you. Is you getting tired of watching me from your window? It's about your sister. What about her? You need to leave this place and never come back. Really? As long as you remain in that house with her, you're not safe. You friends with that asshole who called me in the middle of the night? It's hard to explain, but there's this presence within her, within that house. Okay, I have no idea what you're playing at, but I've heard all I'm gonna listen to. You cannot drink from the cup of the Lord and the cup of demon. You cannot partake of the table of the Lord and the table of the demon. Just get help, lady, seriously. Ridiculous, Richard. Tell me about it. Sarah Doyle. Right here. Why don't you have a seat up on the bed for me, Sarah? Let's see what we're looking at here. It was an accident. I'm not so sure about that. Go to hell, Richard. Go to hell? You're mutilating yourself. Sir. And she needs to be committed for her own sake. She's trying to kill herself. Please, sir, you're not helping. Maybe you should wait outside. Yeah, maybe so. Hun, is that true? Are you trying to hurt yourself? It was an accident. Well, let's see what we got here. You did this today? Yeah. Judging by the scabbing, I'm guessing you had your accident about two weeks ago. You really should have come in to see us when this happened. It's too late for stitches. This is gonna leave one nasty looking scar. Father Burke? Yes. Uh, you know, it's fine. I have rounds to finish anyway, so I'll see you later. Okay. Okay. Uh, Richard Doyle, St. Martin's Basketball. Oh, sure. I know your mother real well. And your sister, uh, what's her name? Sarah. Sarah, how is she? <sighs> um, not good, Father. She's not good. She's kind of the reason I'm here. Um... She's been cutting herself, and she tells me it was an accident, but I have my doubts. Gee, I'm sorry to hear this. Look, I've got to do a mass in the chapel here in about five minutes. I could see her tonight if you think it'd do her some good. Um, uh, maybe, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that, would, that would be great. Um, we're just, we're over on Brook Street, my mom's old house. Sure, I know just where it is. About 6.30? 6, that's great. Thank you so much, Father. Thanks okay. so much. You bet. Okay. I really appreciate it. You really. She 
should really try to use something. I really wish you didn't invite a priest over. What am I gonna do? I don't know, maybe simply talking to someone who isn't me could be a help. I don't need help. For the last time, the cut was an accident. Okay, I don't wanna argue, but last night, crazy dream. It's gotta be him now. Father, thanks for coming. Please come in. Thank you, Richard. Uh, please have a seat. Good, good, good. Uh, thanks. Can I get you anything? Coffee, tea? Oh, no, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'll go get Sarah. Good, good. How is your... Why are you doing this? He just wants to help you. Whatever. Fine. Sarah, I don't know if you remember me or not. I'm Father Burke. Hi. Your brother Richard here thought maybe you needed somebody to talk to. I'm, um, I'm not a religious person, Father. It's all right. We can talk about anything. In fact, I've been told many times that I'm a very good listener. So just relax. Take it easy. Would you feel better if we had Richard uh, leave the room? Richard, would you mind giving us a little privacy? Uh, sure. Yeah, whatever you think is best. Okay. <clears throat> Now, I can't help but notice that bandage on your arm. How did that happen? I cut myself. Yeah, Richard told me, but he thinks there may be more to it. I don't really care what he thinks. Well, Richard told me you've had trouble sleeping lately, that you don't feel like yourself. I lost my daughter to leukemia last year and my husband to suicide. So, to be honest, I can't really remember what acting like myself is supposed to look like. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Would you like to talk about that some? What is there to talk about? Well, that tremendous hurt that you went through. Would you let me pray over you? Mm. Now, really, you don't have to change your beliefs or anything. I would just like to say a prayer over you in the name of Christ. Maybe I'm pushing it too much. I, I do that sometimes. No, um, it's okay, Father. You can say your blessing. All right, let's hold hands. <sighs> Heavenly Father, we ask for your blessings upon your daughter, Sarah. We ask you to protect... Oh! My God! Oh. Father? Hey, Father, you okay? <gasps> Hey, Father, you okay? Father. Hey, you okay? There's nothing more I can do here. I've got to go. What? Hey, wait a minute. Hey, Father, hold on. You've got to get out of here. What? There's nothing more I can do for her tonight. But I know a man. Uh, he's a professor at the U of A. His name is Father Francis Campbell. Now, he's supposed to be an expert at this sort of thing. What are you talking about? What sort of thing? Possession. Unbelievable. I turn to this guy for help, and he fires back with a bunch of lunacy. We're going to have to get some real help from an actual mental health professional, not some demented old priest.
fuck? You're cutting yourself again? Richard, don't. Sarah, you are fucking crazy. You don't understand. I need... What, you need to kill yourself? I need to be with her. She's here. Oh, she's here. Lizzie's here. Right, okay. Lizzie! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Oh, I, I, I don't see her, Sarah. No, maybe she's hiding from us? Right. Lizzie, hello! No, she's not in there. Maybe in here. No! Oh, I, I know. Right, she's in, the, she's in the cellar, right? Yeah, okay. Where's my fucking flashlight? Fuck it. Richard, don't go down there. Richard. Whoever's in here, come on out! Oh. It smells like shit! It's great. So along with everything else that's falling to shit, we got a ruptured sewage line! Sarah. I don't know how much longer I can do this. I'm going out. Mommy? Lizzie? The doctor said you have to go back to the hospital if you're not eating every day. She's not responding to the marrow transplant. This isn't something you get better from. Mommy, it hurts. Lizzie? Well, forgive me if I'm not willing to give up on our daughter yet! But he already took one today. We uh, need to get you feeling better. So we're gonna take a few more. I'm so tired, Mommy. It kills its own. She's with us now. I get you. Shot in a beer. Be more specific. Whiskey, anything Irish if you have it. Beer, anything dark. Okay. Mrs. Bailey. You scared me, Mrs. Bailey. I've got to do some work in the study. Would you bring me a scotch?
One of those days. Let's say that again. I've never seen you in here before. I don't want to be rude. I, uh, I don't think I'd be the best company right now. I don't know. You show more promise than what's usually found here. How old are you? Old enough. <laughs> hey, buddy. Um, another whiskey? And... Get the lady whatever it is she's having. Hello, you've reached the cell phone of Father Frank Campbell. Please leave a message. Thank you. Hi, Father Frank. Uh, this is Father James Burke. We met last year at the Archbishop's fundraiser shindig. Father, what I have to say is, well, it's unbelievable. Um, I paid a visit to a former parishioner of mine named Sarah Doyle. And there's no easy way to say this, but I saw something. And it spoke to me. I need you to call me as soon as you get this. Please, it's urgent. I can't stress that enough. And my phone number is 632-592-6789. Please, call me as soon as you get this message. Mrs. Bailey. She's gone home. Who are you? What are you doing in my home? Ooh. You're really putting them down. Yes, I really am. God, how many is that? Fuck it, who cares? Hey, uh, uh, another? In for a penny, in for a pound. Yes, let it wash away the sins of the world. So, you want to get out of here? Really? I, I mean, yeah. Think you can follow the road? All right, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I just got to head first. Quite the looker you got there. What's up? Just saying, good for you. Have a little backslide. Hanging onto the wagon isn't easy. Looks like Sister Sarah's starting to come around. Finally ready to admit little Lizzie had some help filling her lungs with water. You should ask her. She'll tell you now. You follow me again? Always, Mr. Doyle. Always and forever. That's it, Mr. Doyle. Good. Let it out. Let it all out. I fucking warned you. Who the hell are you? Why are you following me? Tell me who you really are. What the fuck you want? I want you to be a man for once. Take that pretty little thing out there back to your place and fuck her brains out. If I ever see you again, I'll fucking kill you. Call me or mention my sister again. You'll fucking kill me, I got it. Yeah, you've been following me. Fuck! I gotta go. Okay. Maybe some other time. Father? I'm sorry, but I forgot my dang phone charger, and Lord knows if I'm not reachable, I... Father? 
Whoever believes in me shall never die. How'd you know where to find me? <gasps> then when last death conceived to bring us forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bring us forth death. <sighs> Even when I walk through a valley of deep darkness, I shall not be afraid, for you are with me. You are with me. <laughs> What's the matter? Isn't it everything you always hoped it would be? What did you do to yourself? We're gonna have a baby, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Hear me and protect me! Are you alive in there? What? You all right? Who are you? It's my house you're parked in front of. Oh. You drunk? No. Look, you're blocking my driveway. You mind moving? The hell? Are you gonna move or am I gonna have to call the cops? Asshole. Father Burke! Father Burke, it's Rich Doyle! Hello? He's not there, Richard. What? Crazy old fool cut his own tongue out last night. This was you. You did this. I'm just a voice, a messenger, and my message to you is to stop fighting this. Well, that's not gonna happen. Can I help you, sir? Uh, I'm not sure if you can. Do you have Father James Burke as one of your patients? Excuse me, sir. Yeah? You're looking for Father Burke? That's right. Uh, I'm Dr. Kathy Monroe, and Father Burke's attending. Father Burke's been incredibly insistent that we find you. How did you know where I was? Lucky guess. Are you a relative of his? 
No, a uh, friend, I guess. Okay, well, follow me. shed any light on why he would do this to himself. What, what does it say? Find Father Campbell. Who's that? I gotta go. Hey, Mr. Doyle! This concludes what we can submit to you as documented evidence of the existence of demonic phenomena. Now, I know what many of you are thinking, and you're right. There's nothing that you haven't seen or heard here today that couldn't be explained away by a more conventional explanation. Sadly, the only way to truly convince a skeptic of our findings is to have you come along the next time we encounter one of these. And no, we don't give exorcism tours. Why not? Well, that's a fair question, and the answer is simple. Once the demonic presence leaves the possessed, it doesn't simply vanish or return from where it came from. Like any other parasite deprived of its host, it would desperately try to attach itself to something or someone else. Something else? Yes, in certain instances, the demonic phenomena will attach itself to an inanimate object. <laughs> it's like a talking doll. <laughs> There's nothing funny about demonic phenomenon. Now, you can come up with your own theories that you might consider less fantastical to explain away our findings. You can call us frauds if you wish, or you can see things for what they are if you employ a little thing called faith. Faith? Yes, I know. The five letter curse word to every scientific mind, but yes, faith. And it's frustrating. But in the age of audio and video recording, it still comes down to that. Matter of faith. Well, that's all we have time for this afternoon, but if you will join me in a round of applause for our speakers. Father Francis. I'm um, Richard Doyle. Father James Burke seemed to think you might be able to help me. I got a call from him last night. What can I do for you? It's, it's very hard to, to say. I, maybe if you, could, if you could just come with me. Uh, I'm sorry, but I have a six o'clock tomorrow night in Bakersfield. If you want to make an appointment. No, 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 no. This, this can't wait. OK, go on. I don't know how else to describe it. He was trying to help us, and. and God, I have his own tongue. He, he's in the hospital. He's, he's completely insane. You've seen a demonic, haven't you? It's going to be all right. Come with me. OK. All set. It's OK. Just relax. About a year ago, my sister Sarah lost her daughter, Elizabeth. Her husband took his own life a few days later. And how did the child die? She drowned. So this was unexpected? Well, sort of. She had leukemia and, um, Treatments weren't helping. 
one night she just fell asleep in the bathtub and that was it. I know Adam blamed Sarah. I see. So I, I moved Sarah and I back to our childhood home. I thought maybe the familiar could help her cope with things a bit better, but she started having these dreams, nightmares about Lizzie. <laughs> things got a lot worse. She's, she started hearing voices, Lizzie and, and other voices. And then she took to cutting herself. Cutting herself. And there was these, these strange symbols. Well, what kind of symbols? I don't know. Um, not like anything I've ever seen before. That it would... All over her body. She had these scars. Like brands of, of runes of some kind. Can you drop them for me? Just do the best you can. Sure about this? Yeah, I was on the side for a second, but yeah. Wow. That's interesting. What? It looks like the second mark of Bilal. What's that? Well, it's rare. In all my life, I've only seen it twice before. What does it mean? Well. well According to myth, Belial is one of the seven princes of hell, a creature of immense power with ability to take on many forms. And most commonly among these would be a recently deceased person, which led ancient sources to mistakenly connect him with necromancy. But what concerns me the most about this is that this is the first time I've seen this symbol outside of a 1,200-year-old manuscript. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, there's there's more. Yeah. You can tell us from the road. standing open in the white horse whose rider is called faithful and true with justice he judges and makes war Storka. the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he is my savior and my protector <laughs> does it not see is it blind for, for all, all it's, it's watching, watching? Jesus, please, 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 please,
praise you and praise God for bringing you to me. For we are all sinners, and only through him, only through him. Shh, all is well. You have done God's work this day, Molly, and he is most pleased. But you've seen the evil, and it binds you. For yourself. Richard, we can take it from here if you don't want to go any further. No, I... I need to do this. Sarah! Here, rub some of this under your nose. <clears throat> Guess you guys are used to this? Well, strong odors are one of the telltales of demonic presence, but uh, yeah, this is really bad. It usually emanates from a subterranean area like a basement or crawl space underneath the house. Yeah, that, that's where I first smelled it was in the cellar. Let's start with the cellar. Not Sarah? The neighbor. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. Put your phone away. Why? There is a strong evil in this place, and we won't expose anyone else until we know what we're dealing with. Readings are spiked across the board. Father, help me! Fred! Away! Stay right there, Richard. Who are you, demon? I command you to name yourself. It asks questions. Stupid questions, as he knows my name and fears me. I've faced your kind before. Face the small, the weak, but, but not me. You didn't know she was pregnant? That's because yesterday she wasn't. Who's the father? It's not possible. What's not possible? 
Last night, I, I, I mean, when we, there was this woman and and I had sex with her. And I finished up. <laughs> what do we do now? <laughs> Maybe we should pray again. <laughs> As hard as it is, now's not the time to be losing yours. Well, I never really had much abundance to begin with, so that presents somewhat of a problem. Then find it, and be quick about it too, if you want to help Sarah. Help her? Yes. She's sick. She, she seduced me. She, she murdered that poor God knows what else. Whatever's happening here, you can be sure it's not your sister's doing. She's under the control of a very powerful demon. And you need to remember this. Understand? What do you say? Dear God. She's coming around. Virtuous and Verma. It will release me! Our Father Horde never now will be like me. Mater Filium Zormax dead. Mother who kills her own is now mine! The little one. Sick. Weak. Pathetic. We took her soul. And now we take this one! Elizabeth. Don't listen to it. Telling lies is in its nature. <laughs> yes, but this one knows he does not hear lies. He knows this time we speak the truth. You killed Elizabeth. Inter vos multi infirmes. I denounce you. <laughs> does this one think his little tricks will work on us? Your name is Belial. Ah! You are the servant of the father of lies. I know you, demon, and I rebuke you. By our father, who art in heaven. What grows inside is far stronger than little man and his pitiful god. Thy kingdom come down.
whatever the thing is. It's right, isn't it? How's that? You never faced anything like it before. Have you? No. So how are you gonna stop it? Only God is perfect, Richard. And every other creature in this world and the next is imperfect. And everything imperfect has a weakness. All we need to do is figure out what that is. Well, it's about as good as we're gonna do. She's still out. She should be. I pumped her with enough juice to put down a herd of elephants. tracks so I don't know what the plan is when she wakes up again I really feel like this time we bit off more than we can handle and then her condition only complicates things which condition would that be the fact that she's possessed or pregnant if what Richard told you is true then this thing inside her is less than a day old and that would be a miracle a miracle that we cannot allow to happen. What are you saying? I'm saying we need to stop it. I'm saying stop. You mean kill? Yes. You kill her. You kill an unborn child. We need to. No, I don't want to hear any more of this. Richard. <laughs> Richard, don't let them hurt me. They're here to help you. No. They're going to kill me. No! Richard, are you okay? Stay away. I'm trying to help you. No, you're not. Neither are you. You want, you want to kill her. Hey, Richard. Fuck you! Get out! Richard, I'm trying to help her. Yeah, but now that you realize you can't, you're gonna kill her. She can read your mind. She talks to me. She's begging me to stop you. Richard, you know this creature can take on many forms. And if you're here in Sarah now, you must know it's a demon trying to deceive you. You have to trust me. Come here, let me show you. Go ahead, ask it a question. Something only Sarah would know. Believe me, it won't be able to answer. Sarah. The little man tells the truth. She is gone, gone! Away with you. Servant of lies, child of evil. God's word holds the power and- Does he want to see my power? God, sir. Oh. I cast you out. Creator of heaven and earth, I cast you out! For he is the one true God! Creator of heaven and earth, I cast you out! I cast you out in the name of the Lord! Oh my God, it's happening. In the name of... We need to stop this now. Non me 
Drohebere shall not stop us. Richard! Open the door, Richard! The whole place is coming down around us! Okay, Father, just to clarify, you're not under arrest, so you can stop this interview at any time. And you've been advised that you have the right to an attorney, so if you continue talking to me, anything you say can be used against you. Father, are you willing to continue? Okay. You want me to call the Archdiocese? So, let's go through this one more time. There's nothing Father Frank or I can tell you that isn't on that camera, if you can find it. Buried under 40 tons of rubble? Yeah, I'm not gonna keep my hopes up. You need to look at this from my point of view, okay? You know, as much as I hate putting the screws to a priest, there's a lot here that needs explaining. <sighs> I felt you felt who? They say the good will inevitably conquer evil. <laughs> this time, at least they're wrong. Please, could we try to be a little less cryptic? <sighs> Do you believe in God, Detective? Of course. How about the evil one? Do you believe in him? Father, what I believe in is what I can see and what I can smell. And what I've got right now is I've got a collapsed house and a mutilated corpse. And that looks and smells real bad for you and your friend. Molly Hanning was her name. Search and Rescue found her body in the rubble. She was cut up real bad. What about Richard and Sarah? What about the baby? No, we only found the one, the uh, neighbor lady, the Miss Hanning. Then you didn't find a baby. For all our sakes, detective, I pray that that was an oversight on your part. What do you mean? If it survived. Survived? What are you talking about? the child was born, if that monstrosity has entered our world, God help us all. Wanted to let you know the priest and his friend are gone. For now, at least, you'll be safe from them. I'll see you later, Richard. Protect your family. Protect the child. Many will come to hurt him, but you and Sarah are strong, and that's why you were chosen.